just about to put together the cover of a book I've been working on for a while. It's called A Little Bit of Hush and it's written by Paul Stewart and it's going to be published next year by Otterberry Books. The book is entirely made out of collage and it's the third one that I've done that way. All of them written by Paul Stewart. So the first one was Wings and the second one was Brian the Brave. This is the opening spread from Wings. I had a lot of fun making this and layering on all the different bits of greenery, the leaves, the little platforms and stages. I even used some maps for some of the grasses here and all of the birds. I painted the colours I wanted onto some paper first, let that dry and then I cut out the shapes like this um, flamingo here. And then this texture for the stalk was made by monoprinting. This was one of my favourite spreads to make. It's inspired by a Welsh beach. Fields of sheep and little cottages. Again, monoprinting for the cliffs. And here's the opening spread from Brian the Brave. So I made a dry stone wall by painting grey, quite thick paint onto a sheet of paper. And then I rubbed a wax crayon over the side of that so it picked up on all the grooves in the, the brush marks in the paintwork. And that's what made these interesting textures with a little bit of monoprint in between. print came in handy again to make this rather ferocious wolf. So what I'm going to do now is give you a little peep into the process and show you behind the scenes of making the cover for a little bit of Hush. This is some of the artwork I've already made for the book, a little bit of Hush the main characters, the owl and the squirrel. And I've dug this out of my drawer to make sure that when I make the owl and the squirrel for the cover, all the colours match up and everything feels the same. So you can see on the owl here that there are printed textures on the feathers and on the wings and on the body. And these all come from little rubber stamps that I've made, just carving with lino, lino cutting tools. So I'm just going to, I've got some handmade paper here that is the colour for the wings. I'm going to use a little bit of gouache paint. And I'm going to paint that onto the stamp. So now I'm ready to start putting it all together. So here's my finished squirrel, 
and my finished owl and they're all ready to scan and then I can put the cover together. Thank you.